Welcome back to the channel. If you're using Samsung S25 Ultra, you might not be using it to the full potential. In today's video, I'm revealing 10 powerful features that will help you improve your productivity, privacy, and user experience with your phone. Please like this video if you discover even one of these new features, and let's hit the goal of 1000 likes. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment telling me which feature you're going to start using right away. So let's dive in. So feature number one is where you can use Google Drive within My Files. This feature integrates your Google Drive storage directly inside your Samsung's native file manager called My Files. So instead of switching between apps, you get seamless access to your drive. So as if it's just another folder on your phone. So let me show you how to set this up. So first we'll go ahead and open up the My Files app. Now in the My Files app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Google Drive. As you can see, it's currently not signed in. Tap on this and then go ahead and choose an account and sign in. Now go ahead and allow access to your Google Drive. And now you have access to your Google Drive. Now go back. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on Google Drive. And this will basically retrieve all your information, whatever is on your Google Drive. So say for example, if you wanna view anything on your Google Drive, you can go ahead and just scroll through this and you can go ahead and choose what you want. If you want to move anything from your phone to your Google Drive, you can go ahead and tap on the folder. Let's just say, for example, I want to move the job application form. So I'll go ahead and select it, go ahead and tap on move. And now I can go ahead and choose Google Drive and move it here wherever I want. And there you go. The move has been completed. I can show that in the folder and it's right there. So it creates a unified experience for managing both local and cloud files. So it's great for quick uploads, backups, and organizing documents across platforms. So it's especially useful for professionals or students who juggle multiple storage locations. Feature number two is where you can get rid of unused apps. So your Samsung S25 Ultra automatically tracks which app you use and how often. So the system identifies rarely or never used apps, giving you the option to uninstall it or put it into sleep mode. So let me show you how to find these unused apps on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here you wanna go ahead and first open up settings. Now scroll down and find device care. Next, you wanna go ahead and find storage, which is right here. Tap on this. And now here, this will tell you all the information. So as you can see, you have the option for unused apps. So tap on this, and this will tell you all the unused apps, which are taking up a space of 12.21 gig. So you can basically feel the space by uninstalling apps you haven't used in the past 30 days. So let's just say, for example, I don't use this. So you can go ahead and select it and you can go ahead and uninstall it or you can archive it. I'll go ahead and uninstall it as I don't use it. Then you can go ahead and scroll through these and find all the apps that you don't use and you can uninstall this. So like this, this improves your overall system speed, clears up valuable storage and extends battery life by reducing the background activity. So it's ideal for decluttering a phone and keeping only what matters to you. Feature number three is where you can delete large files from your Samsung S25 Ultra. So large files like high resolution videos, downloaded movies or heavy documents often take up space without us realizing it. So your phone scans and group these files together so you can review and manage them in one place. So let me show you how to find these on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find device care. Now next, go ahead and tap on storage. And here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find large files. So as you can see, anything that's larger than 25 megabyte, will basically class it as a large file. So as you can see, I have currently 50 gig of large files. So I can go ahead and tap on this. And here, this is telling me there's 360 large files, which basically takes about 50 gig. So I can clear a lot of space quickly by deleting large files or moving them to another location. So I can go ahead and review these. So as you can see, there's a five gig file, 1.52 gig. There's a few files which I've downloaded again and again, like the DJI APK. So I can go ahead and select these and I can go ahead and delete it as they're not required anymore. Now, once I've selected, I can go ahead and tap on delete file and delete it. So as you can see, I've just cleared right now four gig of files and I currently have 46 gig. So like this, you can go ahead and review what files is needed and what's not needed. And you can go ahead and delete it or move it wherever you like. 
So it's a faster way to free up gigabyte of space, especially when preparing for big updates or needing room for new content like apps, photos, videos, or games. So there you go, guys. Feature number four is where you can pin apps for privacy. So let's just say, for example, you want to give this phone to someone. However, you only want them to stay on this particular app called TikTok. So in order to do this, you need to use the pin app option on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So when you pin an app, it locks the phone to a specific app window. So the user cannot exit that app unless the phone is unlocked again. So it creates a restricted mode that prevents people from accessing anything outside the pinned app. So let me show you how to turn this feature on and how to use it. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find security and privacy. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find more security settings. Now here, scroll down and find this option, allowed apps to be pinned. Make sure you turn this feature on. So app pinning will let you keep just one app on the screen until you unpin it. So for example, you can pin a game app to let a friend play only that game. When the app is pinned, the pinned app may open other apps. Personal data may be accessible. So go ahead and turn this feature on and make sure this feature is turned on as lock phone after unpinning. So you wanna go ahead and press home and then go ahead and open up the app. Next, go ahead and tap on the task manager. From here, go ahead and tap on the app. So for example, TikTok, and then go ahead and tap on pin this app. So now, as you can see, the app is pinned. So to unpin it, you need to touch and hold the recent and the back button at the same time to unpin it. So now this person can go ahead and browse through these TikTok videos. However, he or she cannot press home, cannot press back, or cannot press the task manager. So he or she will not be able to go to any other apps. In order for that person to switch apps, he need to go ahead and press the task manager and the back button together. However, this will then go ahead and open up the lock screen. And in order to continue or unlock this phone, he or she requires a pin number or a fingerprint authentication, which he doesn't have. So then he or she has to give this phone back to you in order to unlock it. So this is perfect when letting kids watch video or when a friend needs to use your calculator, dialer, or maybe a TikTok app, you stay in control and your messages, photos, and private content stays protected. Feature number five is where you can turn on maintenance mode when you give your phone for repair. So the maintenance mode temporarily hides all your personal information, photo apps accounts, while still allowing basic diagnostics. So it's designed for when you're handing your phone to a repair technician to repair your phone. So let me show you how to turn this on. So here you wanna go ahead and first bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find device care. From here, scroll down and find maintenance mode. So this will protect your privacy while your phone is being repaired. Tap on this, and then you wanna go ahead and tap on turn on. So once you do this, maintenance mode pr will protect your privacy while someone else is using your phone, such as when you're sending it for repair. So only pre-installed apps are available, personal data, including pictures, messages, and accounts can be accessed and downloaded. You will need to unlock your phone to turn off maintenance mode. So once I press turn on, it'll basically restart and it'll go into maintenance mode. So as you can see, your phone needs to restart to turn on maintenance mode. To help support staff diagnose and analyze problem with your phone, we recommend creating a system log before starting maintenance mode. So this log only includes information essential for repairing your phone. Once you're ready with that, tap on restart and then it'll go into maintenance mode. So you get a peace of mind knowing that even if someone is testing your phone, they can access your private content. So it's a smart privacy first tool built into your One UI operating system for your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number six is where you can quick dial with smart search. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, so as you dial into the dialer, so whether it's a name, number, or even a part of the name or number, your phone intelligently narrows down the contact list in real time. So it uses predictive logic to match the most recent contacts based on your typing. So let me show you how to use this. So we'll go ahead and open up the phone and then we'll go ahead and open up the dialer. So here I'll go ahead and just type in part of the number. So as you can see, as I dial 710, so this is my number here, and this is the number that shows up on screen. Now let's just say I'll type in a name, so I'll put down the simple dad. I'll just type in simple, so S-I-M-P-L-E. 
So as you can see, the simple. That's how you spell simple using the numbers, 746753. And that basically brings up the contact with a simple dad. So this basically speeds up your workflow, reduces manual scrolling through your contact list. It helps you call people faster, especially useful when you're on the go or in a rush. Feature number seven is where you can compare prices with AI Select. So Samsung's AI Select tool lets you analyze a photo or a screenshot of a product and instantly pulls up online listing of similar items across different shopping platforms. So it's built in like a reverse image search with a focus on shopping. So here we won't be using that. However, we will be using AI Select to pin prices or a deal which we have seen and basically we'll compare it with something else. So here is an example. I have Sky Scanner open up here and I'm just looking for flights form between Birmingham to Turkey. So as you can see, let's just say, for example, this is the cheapest I've found, with this, which is about four airlines and it's 230 pound. So in order to keep this on screen, I can go ahead and activate AI Select. I can go ahead and select this and then I'll go ahead and tap on the pin icon here. So now this will basically pin it on screen. Now I can go ahead and bring this down. Now I can go ahead and change the date. So say for example, now I want to go maybe another day. So maybe in July to 20th of July. And I'll go ahead and tap on apply. Now like this, I can go ahead and compare the prices. So if I make my travel a bit earlier, I can get cheaper deals. So as you can see, from 230, we have actually moved on a bit cheaper to 198 pound. So this way you can basically quickly find better deals. You can compare the sellers and avoid overpaying. So it's a powerful feature for smart budget conscious consumers who want to get the most value. Feature number eight is where you can swipe to type on your Samsung keyboard. So this typing method lets you enter words by swiping your finger continuously across the keyboard. The system intelligently predicts the word based on your swipe path and commonly used phrases. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you want to go ahead and first bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now go ahead and scroll down and find general management. From here, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Samsung keyboard settings. Now scroll down and find swipe, touch and feedback. Here you want to go ahead and find keyboard swipe control. And here you want to go ahead and turn on swipe to type. So you can enter text by sliding your finger from one letter to another. So this works best with full keyboard layout. So you can't use the undo and redo gesture at the same time. So press home now and go back to your keyboard. And now here you can go ahead and start typing by swiping. So here I'll put down the simple dad channel. So as you can see, swipe typing is faster and more fluid than tapping. So it's especially useful for one handed use. It's ideal when texting on public transport while walking or when your other hand is full. Feature number nine is where you can change your icons to iOS iPhone style icons. The Samsung customization feature allows you to download third party icon packs and replicate the aesthetic of iOS 26. So once applied, all your app icons, folders, and even some widgets take on that polished Apple like look. So if you want these kind of icons on your Samsung S25 Ultra, the iPhone style icons, then let me show you how to install this. So first you want to go ahead and open up the Play Store. In the Play Store, you want to go ahead and find the Icon Studio. So this is the app you need, Icon Pack Studio. Open it. Now in the search, you want to go ahead and find iLiquid OS. So this is the font you need. It is a paid version, so you need to go ahead and pay for this and download it from here. Once downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up your GoodLock app. From here, tap on Theme Park, then tap on Icons at the bottom, then tap on Create New. Go ahead and find the Icon Pack. And once you've installed that Icon Pack, the iLiquid OS Icon Pack, it should appear right here. Tap on this. This will now create, this will now change all your icons to iPhone style icons. Tap on Save. Go ahead and give it a name. Tap on OK. Then go ahead and tap on the icon pack and then press apply. And now the icon pack has been applied to your Samsung S25 Ultra. 
So with this, you get clean, minimalistic look of iOS without sacrificing the freedom and the power of Android. So it's great for users who love visual consistency or want a fresh theme for their home screen. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can turn on the split screen view on your Samsung S25 Ultra. This feature allows you to use two apps side by side in real time. You can watch a video while replying to messages, read an article while taking notes, or browse the web while comparing items in another app. So let me show you how to turn on the split screen view on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here first you go ahead and open up the settings, scroll down and find advanced features. From here, scroll down and find multi-window. And here you need to go ahead and turn these features on. So here you need to go ahead and press home. Now let's just say for example, you wanna watch TikTok and you want to go ahead and open up maybe notes. So let's go ahead and activate the split screen mode. So we have TikTok and we have notes. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on the task manager. And here I want to go ahead and select notes, tap on notes. And now I can go ahead and tap on open in split screen view. So once I've selected that, I can go ahead and choose my second app. So I'll choose my second app as TikTok. And here I can go ahead and type in my notes and in the bottom window here I can go ahead and watch all these TikTok videos. So this basically transforms your phone into a true multitasking device similar to tablet or PC. So this is especially useful for productivity research or even managing multiple tasks without switching apps constantly. And that's a wrap on 10 underrated but incredible useful features of the Samsung S25 Ultra. If even one of these made you go whoa I didn't know that go ahead and smash the like button. Let's hit our goal of 1000 likes. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more powerful mobile tech tips. Drop a comment with your favorite feature or any hidden tips you know I might include it in the future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.